Hello YouTube and Wanna Game and stuff and today we're we'll unboxing the collector's edition for Overwatch. It's called the Origins Edition and I actually pre-ordered this at GameStop for $129. I'm actually really excited to actually do uh, this unboxing and um, first off I just wanna get some uh, some stuff that I got from uh, GameStop because uh, if you pre-ordered this game at GameStop you should got like a poster for Overwatch. So I'm gonna show you that real quick. So here's a poster. Uh, we got Lanzo I believe in the back. And in the back, we have uh, just a poster of the game. So that's pretty much it. that's pretty much the uh, poster for Overwatch. That's if you pre-order that GameStop. I mean, it's a nice little poster, I guess. You can hang it up wherever you want. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And you also got a Winston uh, baby action figure. And mine actually kind of broke. His arm actually kind of broke, which kind of sucks. But I mean, it it looks nice, I guess. But it's not really that great or that detailed. Kind of reminds me of one of them uh, McDonald's Happy Meal, Happy Meal toys. I mean, I mean it's great, but I mean nothing super special. Well, that's pretty much it. So this, this is pretty much like the extra, extra exclusive stuff you get from GameStop if you pre-order at GameStop, which is kind of nice, I guess. But I mean, it kind of sucks because if you pre-ordered it somewhere else, you didn't really get this. So I mean, it kind of sucks. And uh, so let's get right into the main course right here. Overwatch, I got it for the PS4. I have a PS4. Uh, Origins Edition, again, this is 129. But I mean, it looks like it has some really awesome stuff. So here's the side or the info uh, what comes in the game. Uh, so, first off, right here, this is it. Uh, you have other Blizzard games, you get some like DLC content. So, like for. Uh, Hearthstone, you actually get to like a card pack. So I don't own no other Blizzard games, so um, I can't really use this, I guess. And uh, this is what really comes in the Collector Edition, right here. You got everything. You got um, Overwatch or Origins Edition. We got a Soldier 76 statue. Five Origin skins. Overwatch the Visual Source Book, uh, Steel Book, Postcards, and uh, Collector's Edition soundtrack. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much what, what comes in the Origins Collector's Edition. But I'm, I'm, you know, I'm super excited to actually open this. I mean, it, it is kind of big to be honest. And it has some weight to it. Probably weighs around like 20 bucks or 20 pounds if I had to estimate. So it is kind of heavy for a Collector's Edition. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So let me just open this real quick. Super excited to play this game, but. It's and uh, before we get into the boxing, I just want to, I just want to say that I already unboxed it, like I already took, but I just uh, took out like the, like the plastic. I just opened the boxes. That way I could be, I could do an unboxing much faster. So you know I already un unboxed it, but I just you know cut the piece, you know I cut the tape and all that stuff, so it could be much faster. And uh, here's you know, there's a box inside the box. So when you cut it, there's another box. And uh, this is just to protect the main box. So I'm just open open this real quick. Again, this is just like to protect the box. I mean, uh, it's nice, I guess. It has like a cardboard feel to it. Here it is. Yeah, just to, pr to protect the box basically. And uh, here we have the main box. Now we got boxes and side boxes, but here's the main box. It has some uh, art of the heroes in the game. Here's the side. Some more heroes. The back. More heroes. And uh, I'm guessing I have to open this to actually see the whole, like all the heroes. And I'll probably do that in, like, in the end because I just want to get to the other stuff first. So let me just open this. Real carefully. There we go. So first off, here's Soldier 76, and here's the other stuff. And don't mind that. Don't pay attention to that. <laughs> so we'll start with Hero 76 uh, statue. So here's a statue, uh, or the box. In the front, to the top, the side. Which is basically how he's gonna look, and just basically like you know, Soldier 76. So 
let me just open this. It's like a giant foam box that's protecting the statue. So I'm just. Giant foam box, and let me just open it. Be careful. So here's Hero 76, and uh, yeah, I mean uh, the plate he stands on is right here. And I kind of like this part. I mean this part's really heavy. Well, I mean it is kind of heavy. I mean it just falls on your foot. It's gonna hurt a lot, and uh, I feel like it's made out of metal. It's real nice. I mean it's real shiny. I mean, it looks nice with the black, um, shiny stuff and the black, you know, whatever. But it looks real nice, I really like it. But it is kind of heavy, so watch out, you know, if you're following your feet, it's probably going to hurt a lot. And, uh, the statue, gotta be careful. Here's, uh, Hero 76. I mean, he's, he looks real nice, I mean, there's a lot of detail in him. His weapon, look at that, look at that detail. His weapon, his hair. And it just looks so nice, man. Here's a, I mean, it does look like a statue. It doesn't really have any color to it, so it is like a statue. And uh, here he is. And uh, I'll show you guys a better perspective right now of Solar 76 right now by just showing you him uh, hands on. And it looks real nice. I mean, a lot of detail. Let me just put it on the stands real quick. Uh, try to be careful and not mess up anything. And there we go. So here he is on his stance. Again, I'm gonna show you guys a better, better perspective right now, but you know, showing you guys, showing you, the, showing you guys this real first, or oh, this real fast. Um, so that's you know that's Solar 76, and here's a better perspective right now. So here's a better perspective for Solar 76, uh, as you can see. Uh, there's a lot of detail. I mean, look at his gun, look at his weapon, a lot of detail right there. Uh, his hair, his head. And just turn him around. The back kind of looks kind of nice right here. It has like a gold look to it. Like a worn out gold. Yeah, I mean, look at that. It has a lot of detail. His uh, back pockets. I mean, yeah, it has a lot of nice detail. It's very nice to look at. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep it in a safe spot. I don't want this to, be, like, get messed up or anything. But it does look real nice. And, uh, hopefully, um, it could last, you know, for a long time. But it is very nice to look at and to have. <clears throat> and, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much Solar 76. And, yeah. Well, that was pretty much Solar 76, as you can see. Uh, he's real nice. He's a lot of detail, like I said again, and this is just pretty cool to have, in my opinion. Uh, and it was definitely worth it. I mean, it's real nice. And it's pretty cool. So now let's move on to the other stuff. Right here we have uh, the art book, I believe. Yeah, this is the art book. Right here. Let me just move the box to the side. Um, but there's nice. So this is our book right here, as you can see. Uh, has like all the heroes on the front, and the back has just like the Overwatch symbol, and it's actually uh, protected by a by a plastic cover. So let me just take it off. Yeah, it's actually protected by the plastic cover. So you want to keep it safe. This is great for keeping it safe. So uh, yeah, I mean it basically has like you know art of uh, characters. Heroes, events, you got Hanzo, uh, you got Bow, we got Junkrat, all that kind of crazy stuff, Lucio, and yeah, just has like, you know, art of uh, characters, events, maps, um, weapons, you know, all their special abilities and all that kind of stuff, and probably have some more uh, info on their bios, I'm guessing, it's, so it's actually kind of big. It's much bigger than Uncharted 4. I mean, uh, I feel like Uncharted 4 was like a pamphlet, to be honest. 
It's only like 47 pages, and this one's probably like 175. Yeah, I think this one's 175 pages, so this one's much bigger. But yeah, Uncharted 4, and much better. I mean, look at that. It's a nice detail. And yeah, I mean, it's kind of cool to look at. And uh, it's much better than Uncharted 4 1, in my opinion. And it's real nice. So yeah, I mean, it's really cool, in my opinion. I mean, especially like the front looks real nice. So you want to keep it in a safe, safe place. Uh, it does come with the plastic um, cover, so you keep it safe. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, so that's pretty much the art book for Watch. Let me just fit this to the side. And next up, we have the, let's see, the soundtrack. We'll do the soundtrack. Uh, so this is a soundtrack for Overwatch. There's the front and the back, as you can see. I think it comes with nine songs, I believe. One, two, three. It comes with nine songs. So it's not like a huge uh, soundtrack. I kind of wish the Uncharted uh, Collector's Edition had a uh, soundtrack because it has a really nice soundtrack, but they didn't, which kind of sucks. Uh, so, but here's the inside of the of the CD, or the inside of the soundtrack. And uh, you can hold the soundtrack. And it's actually kind of cool. They had Lucio in the soundtrack uh, box art, which is kind of cool because uh, he's actually a DJ. If you look on his bio, he's actually like a DJ from Jamaica, I believe. And it's kind of cool and kind of smart how they did that because, you know, they put him on the soundtrack because he's a DJ. So it's, that's kind of smart, in my opinion. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I think there's something inside here. Let's just take it out. So we have like a little note inside the soundtrack. And it's pretty much a thank you to the composers. And giving the credit to the ones who actually made the soundtrack. And you got special thanks to all these names. And yeah. So that's pretty much the soundtrack. Comes with nice songs. And I mean if you're into soundtracks, I mean that's, that's cool I guess. And it only came with nine, so it's not like a huge amount of soundtracks, but it's still kind of nice. So next up we have the, we'll do the, we'll do the steelbook. So this is a steelbook as you can see. Got a, not, not a lot of detail, I mean we only got like two heroes. And um, like this side is like the light side and it's like the dark side I guess. Like a theme they're going with, and here's the side. And uh, it's actually kind of smooth. It's much smoother than I tried it for one that I just had, or that I unboxed like a couple weeks ago. This one's much smoother. It has like a, almost like a plastic feel to it, but it's still made out of metal right here. You can feel it, and uh, it's still kind of nice. And inside, and the CD is actually like downloading stuff right now, so it's on my PS4. Or right here you get some uh, DLC content if you pre-ordered it. You get the Wid Widowmaker skin, which looks kind of cool. And uh, yeah, there's, that's pretty much it for the steelbook. I mean, you got some DLC stuff if you pre ordered. And um, the steelbook's right here, looks real nice. Not, not a lot of detail, like I said, but I mean, it's still very nice to look at. I kind of wish they had the, the cover, the cover was more like this, like the art book. But I mean, it's still very nice, I guess. And finally, we have the we have the postcards. I mean, uh, this is probably like my second favorite thing from the collector's edition. I mean, it's really cool. I mean, I, I know they're just cards, but I mean, they're postcards and they're kind of cool. I mean, as you can see, there's nothing on the back. I mean, they're just like postcards. So there's nothing on the back. Uh, I'm guessing you could send it to somebody, but you know, who 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 wants to do that? I mean, you pretty much have, you pretty well. You'll probably uh, mess up the cards, and it won't be worth as much. But yeah, here we have El Dorado, and they're just postcards of the maps from the game, from the multiplayer games. We have El Dorado. Uh, we got the map in Japan. Uh, we got Hollywood. We got the map in Greece. We got Kings Row, which is in London. Uh, we got China. Uh, and this one map, uh, I don't know, City of Harmony. 
Bro, 66. Nepal. Uh, Temple of Anubis, I believe. Is that how you pronounce it? Um, Wolf Guy, yeah. I don't know, they're kind of hard to pronounce. I don't know the language. Or I don't know how to pronounce it properly. And we got the watch point. So, I mean, they, yeah, they're really cool to look at. It's probably my second favorite thing for the collector's edition. I mean, they're actually kind of unique. I mean, they're postcards and they're really cool to look at. And, yeah, I mean, like, the art looks real nice on them. And it's pretty cool to look at. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the collector's edition for a watch. I mean, the, it does come with a lot of boxes. I mean, it's just like a box for almost everything. Uh, so, uh, for the collector's edition, you basically, uh, basically got... An art book. Let me just move this. Oh, you want to see the whole box? Let me just do that real quick. Let's see. You want to see the whole box? I mean, you, you fold it, you won't be able to see all of them. You have to like set, set it up like this. Which kind of sucks, but even even you do it like that, you still can't see it properly. But here's all the heroes. Alright, here's the art books. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you could hang it up somewhere if you want, but I'm just gonna keep all my stuff in here. Keep it safe. And, yeah. So, uh, the things that come with the Clay's Edition, or Origins Edition, is the uh, Overwatch art book, uh, the Steel Book with some DLC content inside. You get some postcards, I mean, they were, look, they, were, they were nice to look at, I mean, they're kind of useless, but still very nice to look at. Uh, you got a soundtrack for the game. And if you pre-order this at GameStop, you actually got a poster for the for the game. And you also got a Winston uh, baby figure. So my kind of broke again. This sucks. But here he is. Let's put him in here. And finally, you get the main menu, or the main course. The Hero set, uh, Soldier 76 statue. And in my opinion, I, I think this was worth it if you pre-ordered it. Uh, this is definitely worth your money. Uh, I feel like you didn't get like robbed or anything. Well, I mean, all the stuff in here is really cool. I mean, you got the soundtrack. Uh, you can listen to the, the music from the game. The steelbook. Postcards and art book. I mean, the art book's real cool. I mean, I mean, if you're into art books, uh, this is kind of big and it has a lot of you know cool art. Um, the statue is real nice. I mean, it's real uh, well made. It's actually kind of heavy, so that's pretty cool. It's, it doesn't feel like it's all light. It's just kind of heavy. Got some weight to it. Got some Winston and a watch poster. So yeah, I feel like this was definitely worth your money. I mean, if you pre-ordered it, I don't, I don't feel that you, that you got robbed. And if you're thinking of uh, getting this collector's edition, uh, you know, I don't know if you see it like a Best Buy or somebody you know didn't pick it up, uh, you want to like pick it up? Uh, yeah, I recommend it. I mean, it's really cool. You get a uh, you get a lot of cool stuff from it. I know it's a, it's a bit like a bit much. That's like 129 dollars, but still, I mean, you get some really nice things out of it. So yeah, I mean, I feel like it's definitely worth your money. And yeah, I'm also gonna be uploading some overwatch uh, content to my channel be uploading some uh, gameplays uh some uh I, I will be doing the review for overwatch probably today or tomorrow uh i will do it, i will do it for sure and i was gonna do, i know i was gonna do an a chapter 4 review but i just didn't have time but this one i will do it for sure and then it, it should be coming out today or tomorrow and so far i mean i'm having a blast with the game it's really fun uh the beta was really fun i mean uh my, hero, my favorite hero was actually Soldier 76, he's actually my favorite hero, and I just had a blast on the beta, and I, I, know, I can't wait to actually like, play more of the game, to see like all of what it features, and yeah, so uh, that was the unboxing of the Overwatch Origins Edition, so please like, share, subscribe, and comment, I and mean, it really helps out, and thanks for watching, and peace.